We are going to talk about inverses in this video. Let's begin with the definition. In order to verify inverses, if f is a one-to-one -one function, then g is the inverse of f if f of g of x is equal to x and g of f of x is equal to x. Let's use this in a problem. Are these inverses? I have f of x is equal to 3x minus 2, and I have g of x is equal to x plus 2 over 3. I am first going to find f of g of x. So we'll bring down our f, and we'll plug in g of x, which is x plus 2 over 3. And now I'm going to look at the f function, which is 3x minus 2. So it will be 3 times x plus 2 over 3 minus 2. So this is the f function, 3 times whatever's in the parentheses minus 2. And I plug g of x into f of x. Let's do a little algebra. The 3's will cancel out. I will have x plus 2 minus 2. f of g of x is equal to x. Now we need to find g of f of x. I will bring down my g and I will plug in f of x, which is 3x minus 2. And now I will look at my g function, my g function. The rule is to take what's in the parentheses, add 2, divide by 3. So I will take what is in the parentheses and I will add 2 and divide by 3. In the numerator, we will have 3x. In the denominator, we will just have 3. The 3's will cancel. My answer is x. So we did have f of g of x. It was equal to x. And we found that g of f of x was also equal to x. So these two functions are inverses. Let's study these two functions a little more. This is our first function, f of x is equal to 3x minus 2. I want to find some points on this line. Let's find f at 0. That will be 3 times 0 minus 2, which is just negative 2. Let's find f at 2. That will be 3 times 2 minus 2, which is 6 minus 2, and that is 4. What about f at negative 3? That will be negative 9 minus 2, which is negative 11. One more, f at negative 1, which will be negative 5. Okay, so here's a table, and I'm going to plug in a few points for our g function. g at negative 2, that will be negative 2 plus 2 over 3, which is 0 over 3, or just 0. Let's find g at 4. That will be 4 plus 2 over 3, which is 6 over 3, which is 2. g at negative 11. That will be negative 9 over 3, which is negative 3. And the last one, g at negative 5. That will be negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. Now let's look at these two tables. Do you notice anything about the ordered pairs? On one of the functions, I had the ordered pair 0, negative 2. On the other, negative 2, 0. On one function, I had the ordered pair 2, 4. On the other one, 4, 2. All of the x and y's are swapped. Let's look at this on our graphing calculator. I graphed each of these lines in my calculator. On one line, I have the ordered pair negative 2, 0. On the other line, I have the ordered pair 0, negative 2. Let's look at another point. I have the point 4, 2 on one line. And on the other line, I have the point 2, 4. 
once again, you can see that the ordered pairs, the X and Ys, are swapped. I also want you to notice that if I was to draw the line Y equals X, that diagonal line that goes right through the middle, these functions are reflected over that diagonal line. Let's do one more problem involving inverses. Find the inverse of the one-to-one -one function f of x is equal to 4x plus 12. Here are our steps. We are going to replace f of x by y, so that will be y is equal to 4x plus 12. Because remember, f of x is just a fancy way to say y. But I am looking for the inverse, so I am going to swap the x and the y's. Wherever I see y, I will put x, and wherever I see x, I will put y. Yes, I am just swapping them because I am looking for the inverse. And now we will solve for y. Subtract 12 from both sides and then divide by 4. And that is what I get when I solve for y. But remember, this is our new y. This is our inverse. This is elf inverse of x.